Hey, this is Kip, and this is part seven of my on-air company guide. In this video, we're gonna learn about base camps, which let you set up your own airport. Just like other airports, you'll be able to build an FBO there. It will generate jobs, and something that we'll cover in a future video, you'll be able to build factories at your airport as well. So to get started, all you have to do is go to the dashboard and then go to the industries page. You can get to it on the left side over here, or there's a convenient shortcut here in the top left it's this little icon right here next to home. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and we'll be taken to the industries dashboard. The first thing we need to do to build a base camp is to buy what's called a base camp construction kit. So whenever you need to buy or sell an item, you do that here in what's called the trading hall. So we'll click on the trading hall. And then on the left side, you see a list of all the items that can be bought or sold on the market. So we just wanna click the third one right here that says Base Camp Construction Kit. Once you select an item, it has a description here in the top center. And this one says, it's a special item that allows you to place a base camp in any location that's at least three nautical miles from any public airport. And that includes other base camps as well that either you or other players have placed. It says the base camp acts as a private airport and will generate jobs like a size zero airport. Now right here in this list, you can actually ignore all of these airports that are listed. These are actually a bug right now while I'm recording this video. For you, you should just see this section at the top that says base camp construction kits are available in all size two airports. And then it says choose an airport. So all you need to do is find any size two airport and you can purchase a base camp there and it'll be waiting for you to pick up with your plane. So what I wanna do is zoom in and see where my planes are right now. So right here, I just have one plane that's rented, I happen to have a TBM 850. And all I have to do is look in the vicinity of where I'm at for any size two or greater airport. You can tell if something's a size two airport either if it has the black circle with two little tiny dots above it. Over here, you can see there's a black circle with one dot. So this is a size one airport. Or if you just hover your mouse over any of the airports that are shown, it'll tell you the size at the end of the tooltip that shows. So this airport right here to my east is very close to me and it's a size two. So I'll go ahead and purchase the base camp at this airport. Then I'll just need to fly my plane from here over to that airport to pick it up. So I'm gonna enter the airport code for this size two airport right here that's really close to me. This is Kilo Delta Zulu Juliet. So I'm gonna type in KDZJ right here. And you see it says Blairsville. And I can also point to get that tooltip again on the map just to make sure it's the correct airport name, and it is. And now that I've entered an airport, down here at the bottom, it reveals this little purple part at the bottom that will let me choose how many I wanna buy. You can see that each one is 420 pounds. And as I add them, it'll total up the weight for me so I can plan on how many I wanna carry in whichever plane I happen to be flying. I'm just gonna pick up one because as soon as I pick it up, I'm just gonna fly nearby and place it down to show you how to do it. Now I just hit the buy button right here and then say okay in the little pop-up window. And now it's purchased. So that base camp is there at that airport waiting for me to pick it up, just like any other cargo or passengers. If you ever want to see which items you have throughout the world at which locations, you can go up here and go back to the industries dashboard by clicking this little button up here. And then on the left side, there's a button that says my goods inventory. And if you click on that, you'll see all of the items that you have that are related to industries. And down here in my inventory, I can see the base camp construction kit right here. You'll also see that I have meat and pelt and all sorts of other stuff that I'm using at a hunting camp that I built, which I will cover in a future video all about factories. But this is where you can go if you ever wanna look at which items you have in which locations. All right, now I'm just gonna go and prepare my flight to go over to that airport to the east to pick up that base camp construction kit. All right, I'm here at Blairsville and this is where we bought the construction kit. So all I have to do now is just load it up like any other cargo or passengers. So I'm gonna go to my aircraft screen up here at the top. And then if I just click on prepare flight, right here, we see the base camp construction kit. So all I have to do is tick the box to load it and then hit the blue button at the bottom to validate the fuel and payload. And that'll load the construction kit onto our plane. And all we have to do now is find a location where we wanna build our airport. It's important to remember that when you fly to put the base camp down, you have to have an active flight being tracked and on air company. Otherwise, as far as on air is concerned, your plane isn't moving and it doesn't have a base camp with it. 
So what I've done down in the destination is just put in my current airport, but you could really put in any airport. All right, so now I'm gonna make sure I start tracking my flight. Otherwise, as far as on-air company is concerned, we are not flying in on-air company. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. And if you click on flight data right here, you can actually see what cargo you're holding just to verify that you've loaded the base camp construction kit. So right down here in the bottom left, I see that I have it loaded. Now, all we have to do is fly anywhere, land somewhere that's at least three nautical miles away from any other airport or other base camp and we'll be able to put ours down. So let's go ahead and find a nice flat spot to put this thing down. Airborne time logged. Landing time logged. And now that I've shut down my engines, it's recognized that I've completed my flight. So it knows where I've landed this plane. And here you see this button that says Deploy Base Camp. So all you have to do is hit this green button. And now we'll get this new window called Base Camp Management. So first you need to put in an identifier for your airport. And this will actually be shown to other players and be persistent in the on-air company world. So you can actually have your AI pilots fly to this as a destination. It'll generate jobs from this airport. And you can build an FBO at this airport. And then down here, you're able to change the orientation and elevation of the visible base camp. So this button right down here where it says preview in simulator, if I press that and then go back into my simulator, and now we can actually see two different things. First is the windsock. And then over here is actually where my base camp tent got put in this tree over here. So obviously we wanna move this. And luckily we don't actually have to move our plane at all. All you have to do is go back into the on-air company interface. And then where you see the little tent, you can actually click and drag that little orange icon and move it around. So I'm just going to move it right in front of our plane. And then all I have to do is press the preview and simulator button again. Now, if I go back into the sim and look around, here's the little tent. So this is our base camp and it automatically puts it down at ground level. There is an option to change the elevation, but I played around with it and it doesn't look like you can actually do anything. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna move mine a little more towards this area. And then you can use the orientation slider here to turn the direction that it's rotating. There we go. Now it's facing more towards just kind of the open area here. So you can play around with that and get the base camp location just right. So now that that's placed exactly where I want it, all I have to do is go back into on-air company and then click the Deploy Base Camp button. So I'll hit the green button right here, and that will put it there in the world persistently. And other players will actually see this base camp on their world map. And if they're tracking a flight in Honor Company and they land here, they will also see the tent itself. All right, so now I hit OK and I'm back on my dashboard. So what can we do now? Well, if I go up to prepare my flight, you'll notice that the location of my plane shows the airport code that we just put in. So we have rocks OTG. So that's my rocks on the ground base camp. And if I point at it, it says the name of it and then it's a size zero airport. Since this airport is just like any other size zero airport, that means I can build an FBO at it or I can get jobs that fly out of this airport. So I'm gonna hit this little target button here, this little second icon. This says find jobs at the current airport. Now, if you do this, you do need the option set that says use small airports. So you may get a warning about that. If you do get that, just go up to options and then global options and tick the box that says use small airports and save your settings. So just like any other airport, we can see all these different jobs that originate from our base camp. I could also click on my airport name to go to the airport information page. And here, just like any other airport, we see its location. We see its elevation, latitude, longitude. We point down here, we see that it is a land runway. So you can actually take an amphibious plane and build your base camp on the water. So then you'll have a water runway. And here you'll also find this green button that says manage base camp. And that'll bring up that same interface as before. It'll let you move your tents location and orientation. You can rename your base camp. You can't change the actual identifier code, but you can change the description and the name like this part. And you can also choose to delete the base camp completely. And then on the right side, we have all the normal information we see for any other airport, which planes are stored there, which employees there are. 
And you can also hit the create an FBO button here in the top right if you wanna build an FBO. That'll let you build a workshop, store fuel, have aircraft tie downs and crew rooms for your employees to sleep at, and all those cool things that you get with an FBO. There are a couple other things to know about base camps. If I go to my dashboard and look in the bottom center, right here, it says level seven. That's my company level. You get two base camps per company level. So I could actually build a total of 14 base camps. Now I might not want to build 14 of them because of another rule, which is that if any four week period goes by where there's no activity at all at the base camp, it'll automatically be deleted. Now I don't know what counts as activity, but if I had to guess it would be, you know, stuff like a factory that is built on the base camp has to be producing things, planes have to fly into or out of the base camp or jobs have to be completed for that base camp. So I'm guessing if you don't do any of those things within a 4 week period, then the base camp will automatically get deleted to kind of clean up the world just in case, you know, somebody built 14 base camps near a major airport and isn't doing anything with them. Now I've backed completely out of that flight and I'm back on the Microsoft Flight Simulator home screen. So how do we get started and fly our plane that is currently parked at our base camp? So I'm gonna go back into on air and click on the live operations map in the top center of the window. And all you need to do is find a nearby airport that you can spawn in at with your plane. So I have a TBM 850 and right down here is this airport that I flew to earlier, which is Blairsville. So all I have to do is go to my world map and load in with an 850 at this airport. All right, so I've just selected Blairsville and I've selected a parking spot to start at so I don't start with the plane fully started on a runway. Now let's say I wanna fly one of the jobs that originates from my base camp over here. Remember that the plane itself is technically located at the base camp. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the button here that'll generate jobs from the base camp. And just like finding any other job, I'm just going to locate one in the list here that I like. Let's do this one right here. It's taking two passengers. Now, I know it's kind of crazy that all of these jobs exist out of this little base camp tent, but let's not worry about that. Let's go ahead and just pick one of these jobs. And as usual, you hit the take button. And now that I've accepted the job, I can just go and prepare that plane. So I'm going to go back to the aircraft list and click the prepare flight button right here. So now I just have to load these two passengers and you'll notice that I cannot refuel. This is a good reason to build an FBO at your base camp if you plan on using it because then you can get fuel deliveries and be able to refuel at your FBO. And now I've loaded the passengers and I can just hit fly and sim and this will take us over to the flight page. Now normally we see green check marks all the way down the list here because we're loaded in at the correct airport. But in our case, you can see right here, the last one has a red X and it says 10.69 nautical miles from starting position on the ground. And there's a button right here that says position aircraft in simulator. So if you notice on the edges of the screen, when I hit this button, you'll see our plane teleport us to our base camp. There it goes, it's just moved us and we'll see all the terrain and stuff loading in. And when you do this, it puts it in slew mode. So on PC to get out of slew mode, you need to press the Y key on your keyboard. That brings us back into the cockpit. And now if we go back to on air company, we'll see the green check mark for location because we're now starting at the right location where our base camp is. Since we've met all the criteria, we can now hit start tracking. And now we're on the flight tracking page and it shows us and our plane at our base camp ready to start this flight. And now all we have to do is get our plane started and deliver our cargo or passengers just like any other job. All right, I hope you have fun building base camps around the world and flying jobs to them, building FBOs. And what we're going to cover in a future video in this series is building factories at your base camp and at other airports. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.